Peace everybody, this is Thomas Amar with another special edition of Conversation Corner. What a wonderful, wonderful day it is. And I love to have the opportunity to continue to talk to you about just various things in life. You know, I, I usually talk uh, a lot about mentality, mindset, opportunities to um, better yourselves, be it in the business world, personally, uh, education. Well, today we want to talk about love. Today's topic is going to be based off of a conversation that I had with a number of uh, friends of mine, in particular one who I've known for well over 30 plus years, and she came to the table with something called the understanding the languages of love and how each individual person has a particular way in which they uh, receive love. And there's also a way that they give love. So with that, she mentioned that there were five languages of love. So I started to do a little bit more investigations as well as with the information that she had provided me with. And lo and behold, there's a guy named Dr. Ch uh, Gary Chapman. He's an author. He's a counselor. He dealt in um, uh, relationship, marital, marital uh, relationships and things like that. And in this particular case, he wrote a book, The Five Languages of Love. Now, I'm going to go through them really quickly. And then in the end, I'm going to tell you exactly what mine are. Well, the first one is words of affirmation. The second one is acts of service. The third one is receiving gifts. The fourth one is quality time. And last but not least is physical touch. Well, with words of affirmation, what that is, is a person loves to hear, I love you. Kind and encouraging words. You know, it could just make the world seem right. The person just needs to hear it. Well, with acts of service, um, what that is, is being served. Not in a slave like, you know, I'm the king, you're the queen, or you're the queen, and you're my subject type thing. It's just that a person loves when someone volunteers to help. Then you have receiving gifts. You know, the visible, visible, visible <laughs> representation um, of love and the thought process that goes along with that of receiving or that that person puts in the process of purchasing a gift for another. Do I hear something? I did hear something and I'll tell you about that one day later on but the next one is quality time and when it comes to quality time you're to, I'm talking about is just having that undivided attention between the two being able to spend time together being able to cook together go on trips together just to have conversations that are uninterrupted and just to, to partake in all types of activities that's what quality time is based on and last but not least is the physical touch when it comes to physical touch, you could be a touchy-feely person. You could be, uh, and it's by far more than just the actual act, uh, physical act of sex. It's intimacy, it's kissing, it's so many other things that come along with that. And it causes a sense of security, uh, a sense of belonging in the relationship. So those are the five, the five, the five languages of love. Now, the chap, the, uh, uh, Gary Chapman has on his website... Um, an actual uh, uh, survey and if you go through the survey and you answer all of the questions it might take five or ten minutes or so it says up to 15 take your time be relaxed and all of that think very carefully you get to answer one of the two questions and it goes on and it may be about 20 25 questions that you'll at you'll be asked and at the end it'll give a score and it'll tell you the top two uh, it'll tell you the best scores that you have in essence will give you uh, who you are when it comes to uh, the five languages of love. And I knew what mine were immediately, just because I know who I am. And of course, I was right. The first one was words of affirmation. That's just me. I'm just one of those that I like to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. But I'm also, which is funny because when the scores were tabulated, I had the same exact score, and that was physical touch. 
When it came to physical touch, that's just me. I'm a touchy-feely person. I didn't know it for maybe half of my life until one day a person said to me, did you ever realize the more we talk, you touch me, um, you grab my hand? I never, ever paid any attention to that. But over the years, now that it, it was brought to my attention, I'm more cognizant of it. And that's exactly how I am. I'm a touchy-feely person. I like being hugged. I give a lot of hugs. I'm constantly trying to kiss or get be kissed. All of that kind of stuff. Just the total intimacy aspect of it. That's just me. Now, everybody is different. So, I suggest you do two things. Two things I suggest you do is to go find out who you are out of those five languages of love. Find out by taking the survey and then being able to try and ingrain that within your life and within that relationship by finding out what your partner's best language of love is. So you can be able to give as well as that per partner will learn about yours and you'll be able to receive. That will help with a better relationship. Now, mind you, I have to put a disclaimer. I've been through a couple of relationships before that may not have end, that did not end as well as you would like them to, but... I still feel as though for the years, and, and there, we're talking about 25 years between two relationships um, that were put in, a whole lot of love was in, involved in and invested, and it just didn't work out. But I feel as though I can talk about this because I've been through it. I'm not an expert at it, but I know how to do the investigations to get the expert information and then to pass it on to you. So with that, I know you're going to join us. Jump on. Hit that link below. We talk about subjects like this regularly, as well as we help you find other ways to become financially independent and get outside of this strenuous world and all of the issues that go along with it. Thomas Amal, Conversation Corner. Remember, be smart. Think first. Think first. Be smart. Click the link below.